Out of all the amazing tyrannosaurs that once ruled the northern hemisphere of the late Cretaceous, the most popular is obviously Tyrannosaurus rex. In fact, the king is so popular that he often overshadows all the other amazing tyrannosaurs. After all, these pharopods are not called tyrant lizards for no reason. The tyrant we are talking about today even managed to coexist with another giant tyrannosaurid and another apex predator and still managed to thrive in its environment. With that in mind, let's go back to the companion of the late Cretaceous and see what this dinosaur is all about. The Campanian of Lake Cretaceous North America was a period dominated on land by the Tyrannosaurs. The western interior seaway split up North America with Laramidia to the west and Appalachia to the east. Some of the contemporary Tyrannosaurids of the Campanian of North America include the Teratophoni name members Teratophonius, Lifronax and Dynamotero, as well as the Euteranosaurian Pistahiversor and the Albertosaurian Gorgosaurus. Our Tyrannosaur lived in Laramidia. You guessed it, it is the Dasplatosaurus. Dasplatosaurus, type species Dasplatosaurus terosus, first described in 1970 by Dale Russell. Second species is Dasplatosaurus honeri, named in 2017. The third and most recent species is the 2022 named Dasplatosaurus wilsoni. Dasplatosaurus has also been synonymized with Thanatotoristus. Most researchers don't agree on this though. Since 2020, these two now form a subgroup within Tyrannosaurinae called the Splatosaurini. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go with the 2023 Cladogram by Shera and Wojciechulesko Holvat to show their taxonomic placement. The Desplatosaurins are placed within the Tyrannosaurins, a group exclusive to the Campanian and Maastrichtian ages of the late Cretaceous. The Tyrannosaurins are the group with the biggest and most popular Tyrannosaurs, as they include Tyrannosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Sushang Tyrannus, Dynamotero and the Splatosaurus. The Splatosaurus itself features in a variety of paleomedia and TV series including Dinosaur Planet, Dinosaur King, Planet Dinosaur and Leaps in Evolution. Standing 3 meters or 9.8 feet tall, the Splatosaurus was a giant of its time. It reached lengths of 8.5 to 9 meters, or 27.9 to 29.5 feet and a weight anywhere from 2 to 3 metric tons. However, there is one giant specimen of the Splatosaurus terosus, CMC VP15826, nicknamed Peter Ford, potentially reaching lengths of nearly 11 meters or 36 feet. The Splatosaurus possessed a giant 1 meter of 3.3 feet long skull with large fenestrae to help reduce its weight. The Splatosaurus also had a weighty tail that aided in stability for the animal. Like T-Rex, the Splatosaurus is now also believed to have lips, giving the snout a more lizard-like appearance instead of a crocodile one. The Splatosaurus shared the same body form as other Tyrannosaurines, with a short S-shaped neck supporting the massive skull. Although they were tiny compared to body size, the Splatosaurus had the longest forelimbs of all Tyrannosaurines. As a fellow Tyrannosaurine, we could use the bite force of T-Rex and speculate on the Splatosaurus' bite force. T-Rex bite force estimates vary. I've so far heard anything from 30,000 newtons to over 50,000 newtons. Since the T-Rex was an exceptional specimen at bone breaking, I'm gonna use the lower range end here to roughly estimate the Splatosaurus' bite force. If an 8-ton T-Rex had a bite force of 30,000 newtons, a 3-ton Dasplatosaurus could have had a bite force of 11,250 newtons based on weight, which is definitely enough to do some damage on contemporary megafauna. Remember, this is fully speculated. Some of the fossil locations of the Splatosaurus include the Two Medicine Formation, Old Man Formation, Judith River Formation and Dinosaur Park Formation. It seems like good old Das was all over the place. Everywhere I go, I see his face. The Splatosaurus encountered many walks of life, as the formations it's found in are very rich in fauna. In the Two Medicine Formation there have been finds of ankylosaurs, such as Edmontonia, a single avian species, some ceratopsians including Ineosaurus and Stereichosaurus, Dromaeosaurus including Dromaeosaurus himself. Hello there! 
and the Druodontids Denonicosaurus, several ornithopods, the likes of Myasaura and Orodromaeus, a single Oviraptorus species, as well as three Tyrannosaurids, including Desplatosaurus Oneri, Desplatosaurus Wilsoni, and potentially Gorgosaurus Libratus. Outside of the dinosaurs, the formation also contained freshwater beavolves, gastropods, turtles, lizards, and champsosaurs. The Old Man formation contains fossils of several dinosaurs, pharopods the legs of Desplatosaurus terosus, Stenonicosaurus and Struthiomimus altus, and on officiants like the Ceratopsian Chasmosaurus and Gremlin, the Ankylosaurus Scolosaurus, the Hadrosaurus Corythosaurus Parasaurolophus and Myasaura. Now it gets really interesting because the Judith River formation is known for amphibians, bony fish, a single stingray species, the Churistoda champsosaurus, the crocodilians Brachychampsar and Dinosaurus hatcheri. This picture comes to mind. Fucking hell man. Some lizards and many dinosaurs. The dinosaurs include the Onifician Lambiosaurian Corythosaurus, the Ankylosaurus Edmontonia and Zool, the Ceratopsian Avaceratops and many more. Pharopod dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, boy. Gorgosaurus and Desplatosaurus, Dromaeosaurus and Sauronifolestes, the Hesperonis and many more. Last but not least, the dinosaur park formation includes invertebrates, fish, mammals, lizards, crocodilians, Charistoderus and many dinosaurs, such as Edmontonia, Centrosaurus, Chasmosaurus, Pentaceratops, Styracosaurus, Corythosaurus, Lambiosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Stegosaurus, Onifomimus, Citipes, Dromaeosaurus, Latini Venatrix, Pectinodon, Stenonicosaurus, Desplatosaurus, Gorgosaurus, and many, many more. Desplatosaurus also gives us some potential insights in its social life, as multiple Desplatosaurus were found together in the two medicine formation. Dale Russell stated that because of the stronger skulls of Tyrannosaurians, the Splatosaurus could have hunted Ceratopsians, while the lighter built Gorgosaurus hunted Hadrosaurs. However, the Desplatosaurus from the two medicine formation were found with Hadrosaurs. The remains show clear signs of feeding, meaning the Splatosaurus and Gorgosaurus potentially hunted the same prey. A young Desplatosaurus specimen shows bite marks on its face by another Tyrannosaur. Facial bites are very common among theropods, especially among Tyrannosaurs. However, competing with Gorgosaurus and maybe Dinosuchus, and even outcompeting them in certain areas, especially when it comes to hunting megafauna, is quite a feat. A feat only possible for the Desplatosaurus. The Splatosaurus might also have been the biggest fully terrestrial predator in Campania, North America, potentially only competing with Dynamoterra in size. Please correct me in the comments if I am forgetting something here. Anyway, that concludes the video on the Splatosaurus. Hope you learned something new or interesting. Check out one of these bloops, as well as Twitter for my dinosaur stuff and Instagram for fitness stuff. I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.